Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit later today, but the Monday market outlook, we got to get it going for this week of Festival of Football Summer Stars. Team one of Summer Stars, as we know, is in packs for this whole week. I want to take a look at the content that dropped yesterday on Sunday and also talk about what could be happening through this week with these cards potentially dropping some more and more content coming out in the game. Now, we did get the upgrade packs we were expecting yesterday, the, the 80 plus player picks, but we also got a 82 to 88 player pick that is actually really good value for crafting. So I want to talk about that and what this will do to the market as well as just the state of SBC fodder. Because I think, again, like last week, even though there was nothing in packs, I think it's going to be another big week of uh, some sort of those casino packs, maybe an icon upgrade SBC today on Monday, and just all of those, you know, um, 84 plus, maybe 83 times 10, 82 plus times 8. I think we're going to see more of those this week, just because that's how EA does the content at this stage of the game, and they're trying to keep people interested, even though the game is in the latter stages. Now, again, yesterday on Sunday, we'll, we'll, we'll go backwards really quick to talk about that. Patrick Schick got himself an SBC card. Pretty good value card, fun card, right? Something that's cool, it's fun, it's like 120,000 coins to do, not bad. Now, we also had two new icons, which were priced absolutely perfectly. Eto was like 1.5, 1.6 on the market, and both of these SBCs have fallen well below the market value, and it is great timing on the prices for these SBCs where we're at in the game right now. This Eto SBC is 813,000 coins, and the Lothar Mateus SBC 700k which both of these cards were well over a million coins when their prices uh started dropping yesterday when the SBCs came out so finally i mean we talked about eto and mateus being rumored to be dropping in fifa for literally like a month or two and they finally dropped them but ea did a great job pricing off these SBCs. now that even if fodder rises up a decent amount these SBCs will still be decent value just because there's not that many squads inside of them. It's about time that we get good value icon player SBCs. Now, Mateus is obviously an end game box to box card with those German links in there. Maybe links to that brand new Kimmage if you want to get uh, b both of those in your midfield. But that's a really, really good card. And then if you want Eto, I think that's the best Eto. Uh, for the price that we're ever going to see in this game. So I know these cards, just like these icons do when they have big time icon moments SBCs, you see a bit of a sell off and then a rise back. We'll look at that in a second. But those were incredibly valued SBCs from EA Sports yesterday. So that was a huge, huge W, along with the player picks as well and the Patrick Shake. That was the content. Now, even looking at today on Monday, what could we see SBC wise? Uh, I seriously think that we could still see some sort of like icon repeatable. I think we're due some sort of like moments player pick or moments pack or something along the lines of a icon repeatable SBC because we had two of them last week an icon moments pack repeatable and also a was a primer moments player pick. I think I think we're due something else on the the icon casino SBC as they're now kind of referenced to. I think we're do something in those lines today. If it doesn't come today, I don't know if it's going to come later on the rest of this week um, unless they're going to leave it out for a while. So that's just kind of my opinion on there. I think it would come today on Monday. Um, also, fodder is, you know, it's going up. It's going up because the lack of supply. This is the index 84 yesterday. So the combination of the Eto and the Mateus SBCs, Patrick Schick, and then of course upgrade packs, which has people just going out and crafting SBCs in general is making some of this fodder go up. You see 84s are now at over 7,000 coins, almost to 8,000 coins. 85s are 12K, 86s are 20K a piece. Now this is up, right? It's up, but it's not crazy. Again, you still go back out here and look and the Ramos SBC is still only 900,000 coins. He was like down in the, the mid 800s at his absolute lowest, I believe. Yeah, he was in the mid 800s at his lowest, but he was still 1.1, 1.2 earlier this last week, but when, when fodder was way higher. So in my opinion, the fodder is still at a decent level, and if you're trying to craft SBCs, that's helpful. Again, though, I could see it continuing to go higher if we were to get more SBCs today, like an icon player pick or something along those lines, because that is just kind of the content that we get at this stage of FIFA. Now, I also, today on Monday, expect another player SBC. They've been really consistent with dropping player SBCs. Um, now, we are three for three on actual Summer Stars players with Shakiri Kimmich, 
and Schick. Uh, now, they could maybe mix it up today and maybe drop like a flashback or a player moments or something, kind of like they did last week with uh, James Rodriguez. They dropped the Nation players. I think there's still some Nation players left to drop, uh, so we could see a few of those as well. Um, if they haven't dropped, if, if there's any nationalities that, I mean, I haven't been keeping track of them all, but... I do think there are some nationalities left they could drop for a nation player, so that could be something that we do say see today and maybe even later on this week in FIFA as well. But I think that's going to be the mantra for this week is, you know, a player SBC almost every day and then probably seeing people grind these upgrade packs. Now, the one thing I don't like about the 80-plus player pick is that it, it's 30 chemistry and it's eight players. So it's actually, it's not just easy to fill in an entire squad unless you're buying players that are all from the same league and that's kind of my recommendation to you if you're doing these go out and buy players from the same league now how much are commons because um i was looking at commons and rares last night and it was actually yeah so 600 is basically where they're getting insta bought or bought right away for the commons and the rares i believe are about 750 to 800 coins so what i've been doing actually is just going and paying the extra 100 coins a card for rares because there's way less competition and nobody else is buying them and i think at some point probably today and into this week the commons and the rares are going to end up being all the same price um, as people are going and doing these player picks because of course you have a 99 rated ronaldo 99 rated messi uh in packs so that's going to make people want to go after them right and i know it's the 80 plus player pick so it's not as desirable but i have seen people pack promo cards from these player picks so they're definitely they're out there right and you're going to give yourself a shot at packing one of those with these now also i want to talk about this 82 to 88 player pick because these are sneaky good these are sneaky good now it does require golds as well it requires nine gold players 30 chemistry with 11 players in the squad so instead of only turning in um, on this 80 plus player pick just eight players you're turning in uh, a full 11 for the 82 to 88 but i did three of these yesterday i packed 88 85 85 i think from the 82 to 88 player pick so if you're going purely for fodder give a few of those a try because those have been really really good and if you're trying to craft some sbcs maybe like a james or uh maybe united states nation players or ramos before they expire or maybe even eto or Mateus, the 82 to 88 might be a grind for you earlier on before you maybe get into some 80 plus player picks. At least do a few of both, right? Test them out, see which ones work best for you. The 80 pluses seem to give out okay fodder. I got a lot of 83s and 84s, which you'll take, right? Because that'll be nice uh, to put into some of these SBCs. And I was hoping that even some of these new SBCs would require TOTS cards or Team of the Weeks so that I could, you know, rinse my 82s into this 85 to 90, and not a single SBC, none of the Mateus squads, none of the Eto squads, uh, Schick, you know, none of the Ramos or the United States Nation players that are out right now, no, nothing requires TOTS cards, so EA gave us this SBC for putting them into SBCs to supply us, basically, with these TOTS cards, and now we have no SBCs that are requiring them, so... Uh, maybe they're just waiting for their prices on the market to drop, which they probably are since there's less demand. Uh, but I just, I mean, I'm ready to rinse my 82s into that and there's nothing to uh, put those cards into once you craft one of those 85 to 90s um, at the moment. So maybe some of those will come out later this week, but that'd be something I'd maybe put your 82s into and maybe be forward thinking, I guess, when we have SBCs that come out later this week that could require them. So that's my thoughts on that. Now, again, looking throughout this week, some of these cards got really low yesterday on Sunday with the uh, preview packs and the lightning rounds. They didn't really dip too much during squad battle rewards. Um, but I also think that these cards will go lower later on this week. I do, because if we're having uh, player picks that are out right now, if we have more SBCs that are coming to drain some coins off of the market, I think that's going to take some people's coins away from these cards and put them into that uh, SBC content, which is going to drop some coin balances. And of course, people are going to be sending player picks this week because it's towards the end of the game. They're going to want to try to pack some of these Summer Stars items. And I think that's going to make these prices drop a little bit throughout the week. Now, there's not a ton more supply coming until rewards, but I honestly think you're going to see these guys drop back down at the rewards time frame. Uh, some of them have bounced back up a little bit, like Modric was under 600K. Laporte, I think, had the biggest bounce. He was 200,000 coins flat on Sunday during lightning rounds, he's back to 240. So you see a card like this that we've seen bounce around so much uh, and you just know that there's a lot of demand here. 
And that's why this card is bouncing around a lot. So keep an eye on this card, right? You know, bam, he was down to 200,000 coins, rebounded back up to now where he is at 240, 237. So, you know, keep an eye on a card like this. I believe that Richarlison was down in the mid to low 600s as well. He's back up to 700K. How low was he yesterday on Sunday during the lightning rounds? He went to 637 and then back up to 700K. So, you know, some of these cards that have bounced back, I do think they will go back down again later on this week because they're still in packs, of course. There's still going to be a refresh of preview packs every single day, which they'll get supplied from a little bit. There'll be uh, the daily Summer Stars uh, or Festival Football Challenges that will be dropped into the game that will supply them a little bit when they have tradable supply. But I think Rewards Day is going to be another time where you see these cards drop off a decent amount on this market now do i have a preview pack because i don't think i hopped on here yesterday and did my preview i did not oh boy we have a 50k preview pack let's see if we get anything sick uh on saturday i think i packed dumfries from a preview but his price was below 100k so i didn't even buy the pack and again here we get an 83 from a 50k pack so staying far away from that but yeah i wanted to talk about those summer stars items because i definitely think they're going to be dropping off in price i know some of you guys want to buy them uh, for your teams if you don't like pack them or something this week um, But for basically every single one of these cards, I would hold off. I really would I know the supply is gonna gonna slow down a bit, but if the content is really good in FIFA um, this week, which I think it will be and if um, Rewards coming this week, which you know people had extra time on the weekend like right now. It's Monday, right? You can play weekend league today uh, which is which is a rarity People have more time to grind some games. There's those weekend league plus objectives that are out too. So people are grinding those games, maybe getting a bit higher of a rank in the weekend league, um, which will push out some better rewards on this game. So we'll see if that is any sort of the case uh, heading into later on this week. But I just, I just do think that they will get supplied a decent amount of rewards and that's gonna be your time to probably go and get involved in some of these. Um, I think that's gonna be your next best bet. Unless you bought some of them yesterday on Sunday, then I guess you can hold on to them. But I, I feel like some of these cards are going to continue to drop off. I mean, it happened to the PTG cards from Team 2, which is what I'm really using to compare to these. Because the PTG Team 2 had the preview packs on the weekend. Those cards actually shot up on Sunday night. But I think it was that live card factor. And just when the preview packs first came out in the game... Um, kind of all that hysteria and the coins that that put on the market is maybe people bought some packs with FIFA points and people that got on the game that haven't been on the game in a long time to open a preview pack, maybe got something sick, got those coins, and then, uh, you know, went out and, and had coins to spend on the market. But uh, I, I still do think these cards are going to drop down. So that's just my opinion. But hopefully the content this week continues to roll, right? I keep hearing a lot of good things. I'll, you know, Twitter right now is kind of a whole mess between FIFA 22 stuff people are talking about, um, but then some other people are still saying that, hey, this week of content's gonna be a pretty good week, right? They think it's gonna be a hype week um, and a lot of good SBCs are gonna continue coming. I really don't know if this is our replacement for summer heat. I really don't know. Uh, I don't know what's gonna come after this. You know, it seems like we'd be nearing the point where they'd start to throw, you know, like really end game times and start to throw some of the old cards in packs like Team of the Seasons. Last year, they did Team of the Years and start doing those batches of re-release special cards in packs. So we'll see if that happens again. That was like a summer heat thing last year. We didn't have footies last year. Maybe we'll have footies this year. So we'll be here to cover that, of course, in the later July periods. But of course, for this week, with Summer Stars rocking, um, I expect some sort of icon upgrade SBC today, maybe tomorrow at the, you know, but I really think it'd be today on Monday for an icon casino upgrade SBC, which is just probably with the content this week, going to make SBC fodder rise even more. It's going to be a great week to try to pack some of these big cards. That's what I'm going to be doing uh, on stream. And of course, with the coins on my account is spending a lot of those to get some SBCs done and uh, to try to pack some of these cards. I packed one. I packed Christensen from like 25 of those uh, player picks yesterday. So that was nice to actually get one. But other than that, it's been uh, pretty quiet so far. A lot of people have packed like Locatelli, Spinazzola. Uh, I think we packed a Bravo. We packed a Dumfries for somebody too. So none of the big names yet, but we're working on it, right? We're working on it. And the content's good, right? There's not too much to complain about. SBCs are, SBCs are well-priced. We have upgrade packs that are out. Uh, and we have 99 rated cards that are in packs. So it's a W right now in this game, that's for sure. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. 
and subscribe if you're new. But it's been Nate the Vote Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.